right, so we're looking at Romanian deadlifts today. And one of the aspects of the RDL we're looking at is the ability to um, maintain a straight back throughout the movement. Now, it's really important that we build up our back strength because we can't, um, we can't ever take a muscle out of the movement. Um, what we need to do is build it up as a great um, synergist or um, secondary assisting muscle um, muscle groups to um, support the primary movers of the um, of the exercise and so with the main exercise muscles being hamstrings and glutes we need to have this ability to have strong erectors lats rhomboids trap fibers uh, in order to maintain a nice straight back throughout the hip hinge movement so hip hinge refers to you know the, the action at the hip um, and you know not focusing on spine flexion and extension as a lot of people tend to do when they do this movement um, what we want to do is get really good at breaking at the hip but keeping that nice straight spine throughout the entire movement and so one of the uh, one of the focuses we're going to do for this particular exercise is getting a bar or dumbbells, now it can be an easy bar or a flat bar. Um, and for, we're gonna take a wide grip and what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on a really slow tempo, a pause at the bottom, and then a controlled um, movement up. Now, we are hitting hamstrings and glutes, but we do have an isometric contraction going on through these um, assisting muscles through the through the back groups. So what we're looking at doing when we do this couple of cues, we're looking to have chin up, chest up, knees slightly bent, lats engaged, squeezing shoulder blades together, and then when we hip hinge, we come down, we feel the stretch at the bottom, we pause, and we pause for two seconds or whatever specified, and then we control, squeeze up, and the focus is the isometric contraction of the back muscle groups. So I'll get in, I'll get, grab a bar, and I'm gonna grab an easy bar, but again, it could be a flat bar. We're taking a wider grip for this exercise, just a variation. Um, no grip is um, necessarily bigger than the other, better than the other, so long as there is an intention to that particular grip. So with the wide grip, we're going to be engaging more um, rhomboids, um, and having to have more scapular control throughout the movement. So having that wide grip, um, again, what we want to do as, the, as we lower the bar, the bar needs to follow the contour of the leg, or at least keep the load as close to your body as possible. So again, so we've got, we've got taking a um, hip width stance, we're just outside hip width, and we've got chin up, chest up, squeezing shoulder blades together, and engaging lats. Now we're coming down, we're breaking at the hip, driving hips back, keeping a nice straight back. I get a stretch about here. I'm gonna pause here. One, two, and then squeezing back up. Before I lock out, I'm gonna come back down. I'm gonna pause. One, two. We come back up. Before we lock out, we come back down. Nice and controlled on the way down. Pause. One, two, up. Before lockout, we come back down. One, two, nice and controlled up. Pause, and back up. Pause, one, Two. Now, we do that for the specified reps, um, anywhere between eight to 10. The focus is really maintaining that integrity of the spine um, and nailing that hip hinge so that we can build up the, the ability to support the load that we then start to add to that um, barbell or um, easy bar or whatever bar you're using um, going forward.